Welcome to the channel. My name is Kira and today I'm going to show you how to install the Burst Coin Wallet on Windows. So I've got a computer right here and let's go ahead and get this thing installed. First things first, open your web browser and let's Google Burst Wallet and we're going to look for the one which is from burst-coin.org and we're going to download wallet and click that. From the download wallet page we're going to go to Q Bundle and click that. It'll take you to a GitHub page and you'll see this the 1.9 installer. And we're going to get the Q Bundle underscore installer 1.9.msi. Once you've got your download, we'll open it up and we'll click next on the next few screens. Next, next, install. And yeah, let's do the thing. And now we can launch Q Bundle and we'll click finish. It'll tell you it's got some missing components most likely. So just go ahead and click the download missing components button. Okay, so we've got our components installed. So we can just click continue now. Now it's fine. So when you open your wallet for the first time, you've got a couple options here. You'll notice that the blockchain is downloading if you look here on the bottom, uh, but the wallet is running. It's just, it's gone back in time and it doesn't have all the transactions of recently. So it'll take a really long time to synchronize those transactions. But there's a way you can speed that up and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But first things first, let's make a wallet. So in order to make a wallet, you'll click this don't have an account, click here to create one. And it'll give you this automatically generated passphrase. And this is super, 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 super secret. And you don't want to give this to anyone. So you can take this and write it down in a very safe place. Uh, because this is, goodbye Froggy. Because this is for you guys, uh, it's not going to be that secret. So I'll keep this down here. And once you've got that down in a safe place, we'll just go ahead and click next. And you can test your new password here. And it logs you in. And now you've got a wallet. Um, this is your address. You can give this address to other people. They can send you a burst coin. You'll notice though that there's really nothing here. Uh, the blockchain is still downloading. So I'm going to show you how to speed this up. First, we're going to stop the wallet. We'll go wallet, stop wallet. And we'll wait for the wallet to stop. Okay, the wallet is stopped. We are going to import database. And we're going to import from repository, crypto guru repository. Da, da, da. And then we're going to start the wallet when the import is done. Cool. Click start import. All existing database will be erased. Sure. Why hello froggy. I have a little froggy on my shoulder. Doop doop doop. So now that we've got the import file downloaded, QBundle will import all of the records for the blockchain. This can take about 30 minutes to, I don't know, maybe a couple hours. So give it some time. Uh, if you were to just let the blockchain download normally, you'd be spending days and days. So this is definitely a better route. I'm going to skip through this part and I'll see you guys back here in just a bit. Now that you've imported the blockchain, the wallet will catch up to the most current block. Usually it's a few blocks off from your import. Sometimes the import even goes back as far as the beginning of 2018. So just give it a few minutes and it'll catch up. If you look down here, you'll see that it's caught up when it's all green. Okay, so our wallet is all synchronized. So if we log in, we should be able to see all our balances and everything will be up to date. So let's take our super secret passphrase and plug it in and click the button. And uh, this account has nothing on it right now. Notice how the account here, there's no name set or anything like that. And as far as the network is concerned, this account doesn't exist, but it does. As long as you've got your passphrase and you can log in and you get this address, you have an account on the network and anyone can send you Burstcoin. I'll put a link in the description for using a Burstcoin faucet. 
and this faucet will allow you to get your first burst coin for free. And with that burst coin, you can either set the name on your account by going to here where it says no name set and clicking that and plugging it in. Or you can save that burst coin for setting up your recipient information if you're going to mine on a burst coin mining pool. And there'll be more videos about that soon in the future. Your burst coin wallet will stay synchronized as long as you have the wallet open on your computer. But this may not always be desirable because you might forget to open it or something like that. So there's a way you can make it so that the burst coin wallet will always stay up to date and it's very easy. Just go to wallet, stop wallet. It takes a few minutes for the wallet to stop, but once it's stopped, you're just going to go to wallet, windows service, install as a service. And you'll click yes. And it'll say burst wallet installed as a service and you click okay. And now go back to wallet and start wallet. And another confirmation, click yes. And you might get this scary screen that says, oh, everything is broken, can't reach this page, but that's okay. So after you've re-enabled your wallet and it should stay running down here, fully synchronized. Let's go ahead and close that and let's open up burst wallet again and you should be good to go so now your wallet will always stay synchronized as long as your computer is online and it makes it a lot easier to get around you don't have to worry about keeping your wallet open anymore and if we log in again and there we go we're logged back in so that's the basics for getting your wallet started on windows it's very straightforward and for most users you won't have to fuss with anything if you run into any problems it's probably a database problem. And go ahead and leave me a comment in the description or join me on the Burst Discord. I'll put a link in the description as well for that. Otherwise, you should be good to go and ready to burst. So this was the first video in a series of videos that I'm gonna put out talking about how to install the wallet and get it configured. Burst Wallet is usually pretty easy to set up, but if you're a Mac user or you have trouble with the database, it can be a real bear. So I'm hoping to make videos to help everyone out and get this wallet running. One of the other interesting things about Burst is you don't actually need a wallet running on your computer to use the Burst network or send Burst coin or anything like that. You can use a web wallet as well. I'll be making a separate video about web wallets, but they're very easy to use and very similar to what I've showed you today. You just don't have to download the desktop application or download the blockchain or anything like that. Very easy to use. So check out those links, and if you'd like to learn more about them, uh, stay tuned for my next video. So that's it for this video, just a basic rundown on how to get the Windows wallet running. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That way you get great burst videos in your inbox every week. And if you'd like to support future CryptoFraggy videos, uh, go ahead and check out my Patreon link in the description. Anyways, that's it for this one. Stay tuned for more wallet and burst coin videos in the very near future. Thanks guys, see you later.